Hey, it's Cam for Investors Underground. It's gonna be a bit of a different video today that I'm making partly out of necessity and the other part because I've got a bit of an ax to grind with a type of trading product and app that seems to be becoming more prevalent in the online trading world. Let me introduce you to the kind of sketchy world of binary options. So I mentioned that one of the reasons I'm doing this video is out of necessity. And what I mean by that is I've been getting lots of questions from brand new people to the trading world and also a lot of spam on the Investors Underground YouTube channel trying to recruit people to sign up for a binary options brokerage. And at first I thought there's no way in hell anyone's going to be depositing money into one of these brokerages. But then I saw how many people had downloaded the app and it kind of scared me. So this video is all about protecting you guys and also kind of giving you an insight into some of the dangerous online scams there are and how they work. So in this video, I'm going to be going over what they are and how they work. I'm going to discuss whether or not I think you can make money trading them and also talk about why I think it's a scam and explore some of the very dubious marketing techniques, often multi-level marketing in nature, where these guys find their customers and take money from them essentially. So let's start by going over how they work. There are basically five variables when trading a quote unquote binary option. The first variable is what do you wanna trade? So they give you options to pretty much trade anything under the sun. And the reason they do this is because it kind of doesn't matter what you're trading because the end result is always the same. Then at a certain point of time, you pick a direction up or down. Then you select how much time until it expires. And it's usually one minute, 10 minutes or one hour, something that's quite quick so that they can get you through as many trades as you can. Then you choose the size of your bet and often the cap is unlimited. The last piece of the puzzle is what the percentage return you get if you're correct or what's known in the gambling world as the RTP or the return to player. By the end of this video, you're gonna see how binary options brokers use these five variables to extract money out of the customer trade by trade, leaving the customer with an empty account by the end of the process. So let's have a look at a common binary option website or brokerage. You can see the trading vehicle here at Silver. You can see the payout or the return to player if you're correct on the right hand side. You can trade stuff like Volkswagen, BMW, RBS, pretty much anything you want. Then you select up or down. Let's say you select up and you place your trade. Now on this one that I've got here, you're making a quote unquote $100 investment. If you're wrong, you lose that investment. If you're right, you get $170 back. And in this next piece, I'm gonna show you where the peril lies with accepting such a horrible reward to risk ratio. So let's say you're trading normal stocks or the equities and you wanna buy up a trend reversal and you're looking at this and you're saying, okay, cool, here's my trigger. And you buy a certain amount of shares so that if you're wrong, you've got $100 risk and your stop out is below the low. If this trend reversal comes good, you're gonna let it ride and maybe make two to three on your risk. But because you don't have a time constraint, like one minute or 10 minutes or one hour before the trade is finished, along the way, you can move your stops to break even once you're in profit, you can decide to peel some off along the way and you can manage the position as it's unfolding. And that time constraint in binary options is one of the key handicaps that they use to make a binary option trade more of a coin flip in terms of whether you're gonna be correct or not. But then as you see here, even for that same $100 risk, you're only getting paid out $80 if you are correct. So let's look at that in a different way. So unlike a classic option where you might buy a call or buy a put for 10 or 20 cents, and if it ends up in the money, you can make you know five to 10 times on what you spent on that. Binary options 
have very short expirations, but don't pay you out that positive reward to risk ratio. So in this example, I'm showing that, you know, you risk $100 trading a binary option. And if you're right, you make 80. If you're wrong, you lose your 100. But then in a positively geared reward to risk ratio equities trade, you might risk $100 on that kind of trade and make two or $300 if the trade pans out in the way that you were expecting. I really think there are two things at play here. The first is the way they structure the binary options with the short expiration and the fact that there isn't a liquid market during the trade to be able to enter or exit. It really is a coin flip kind of game. That's the first thing at work. The second thing at work is that your payout isn't the same as what you're putting in and you never have the opportunity to make more than what you're risking. It's basically a coin flip where if you're right, you make 80 bucks, and if you're wrong, you lose 100. That's not a game that you can win at in the short, medium, or long term. So how do the brokers make money? Well, they don't actually send your order out to market. In fact, what they do is they virtually take the other side of the trade, taking all of the risk against you, knowing that if they win, they take your 100, and if you win, they give you 70 or 80. And when you consider the return to player, or that RTP percentage that I was talking about earlier, and you compare it to, let's say, a game like Blackjack, where the house is only taking 2 or 3% odds off you every hand, you can start to understand how these guys make money, given they're taking you know 20 to 30% every time you click a button. Which brings me to my next part, how the hell do these guys find customers or find people to deposit money with them? Which is truly the most depressing part of this whole video. These brokers are so sure that they're gonna end up with all of your money. They're so sure that you're not gonna win a single cent that they're willing to offer anyone who can refer someone to deposit. So any affiliate who can convince someone to deposit money, they're willing to split the deposit with the referrer 50 50. So let me give you an example. Let's say someone refers me to this brokerage and I deposit $10,000. Within around a month after I lose my money, they will pay out the person who referred me to the brokerage half of that money, $5,000. Then this is where the multi level marketing part of it comes in. If you can recruit other affiliates to do the same thing, then you get 5 to 10% of the 50% that they're making for signing up new depositors. So you might be wondering, how do those affiliates find customers? And this is kind of the sad part is that what they do is they masquerade themselves as educators or people trying to help. So basically what they do is leverage the implied legitimacy of the stock or trading world. You know, everyone knows someone who's made money in stocks or knows a rich stockbroker or someone rich in finance. So they kind of have created this masquerade of legitimacy in that you're trading, for example, gold or oil or the Euro USD or Apple, when in reality, you're actually flipping a coin with a 70% return to player if you end up getting it right. So what these quote unquote educators will do is become a specialist in, let's say, gold binary options trading or silver or forex binary options trading. And they'll put out some kind of free course or create a little website where they'll give you some information, link you through to the website to open a brokerage and anything you deposit to try out their strategy, they get, you know, 50% of what you lose. So you can see in this example, Good old Saeed is telling people that he makes money online trading binary options and that you can go to his side and learn a bit about the strategy here. And you can see this link here that links to the broker has an AFF equals and a number. If you click on that, the brokerage knows who's sending through the customer. And if you end up depositing, they'll be given Saeed half of the money that they take off you. So how do they stop you from taking your money out after you've made a few trades and you realize that the whole thing is a sham? Well, what they do when you sign up is they give you what's called a deposit bonus, right? And often they'll match the amount that you deposit and double it. So let's say you deposit 
$10,000, they'll give you a $10,000 bonus. So you're able to trade with $20,000. However, you have to trade a certain amount of times to be able to unlock that bonus. If you opt in for that bonus, then you can't actually withdraw until you make enough trades. And the math is jigged. So as you make enough trades to unlock that bonus by giving away 20 to 30% every time, Statistically, you have no chance of ever seeing any of that money, including your initial deposit. So that brings me to the end of how it all works and the mechanics behind it all, which on reflection is kind of all a little bit depressing in that there are people trying to trick other people to deposit money so that their loss is the broker and the affiliate's gain. It's my opinion that you should always look for brokers where your interests are aligned. Sure, stockbrokers need to make money.